Hey there everyone, welcome to Solve Us Classes. So in front of you is a question from Indian Economic Service on uh, green national income. But before that, uh, you have been asked to differentiate between gross national product, that is GNP, national income and disposable income. So let us first try to understand these three concepts and also try to derive disposable personal income from GNP. And then we will discuss about green national income. So to begin with, first of all, um, let us talk about national income, right? So national income, when we talk about national income, it is basically the money value of all final goods and services produced uh, within the national boundary in a different particular time period, right? That is national income. Now national income and personal income there are these two terms so what is the difference between these two terms okay let us first try to understand that national income like every other income that we receive is not a part of national income so what is national income then national income is only that part of our income that is through participation in any productive work yes so you are participating in any productive work And you are earning so that becomes your national income for example you're going to job and you are earning wages as a labor rent from capital right uh, profits from organization etc so these are all the part of national income because in order to generate the money value in these type of procedures, there is something that is being added to the economy. So that is why these are all part of national income. But there are certain income. So these are income earned. Okay. And personal income is basically definitely income earned. And also there are different ways of receiving income. Okay. Receiving income means you are actually not participating in any particular uh, productive work, but you are gaining some money value. Okay. For example, transfer payments. What are the example of transfer payments? Let us discuss. So transfer payments example are um, pensions, unemployment assistance by the government that they give so these are all the types of funds that you receive okay um, but you're not actually doing something productive you're just uh, receiving this money other examples can be lottery also like all of a sudden you are just uh, winning a lottery and that becomes your income received then there are capital gains okay then there are capital gains what are capital gains? Suppose you buy a land today and sell that piece of land tomorrow. So suppose today you are buying that land for uh, at a price of around say 2 or 3 lakhs. Okay, And later on you are going to sell that particular uh, land at say 5 or 6 lakhs rupees. So the gain that you get after just selling, reselling the land is your part of capital gains. Right? So, uh, these type of income are income received and definitely part of personal income but not national income. But national income like whatever income an individual is earning as well as receiving together is the part of personal income. Now, let us start uh, to derive our disposable personal income from GDP and GNP. So, next is GNP that is our gross national income gross national product right so what is gross national product so gross national product is basically money value of all final goods and services money value of final goods and services produced by domestically owned factors of production by domestically owned factors of production 
by domestically owned factors of production. So what do you mean by domestically owned factors of production means by factors of production here we are talking about labor and capital. So these labor and capital like uh, whether American MNC companies are going to invest in India or any Indian is working in company in America. So these are what so the factors here if I'm talking about the American investing here so the capital belongs to America. Indian working in American companies, so the factor that is the labor belongs to India. So here, from wherever this particular factor of production belongs to and the money value that particular capital or the labor is generating is part of the GNP. So that is our gross national product. So then what is GDP? Gross domestic product. GDP, that is gross domestic product so what is this then so gross domestic product is basically money value of all final goods and services money value of all final goods and services uh, <coughs> produced within the domestic or let's say national boundary national boundary within a given period of time within a given period of time right so that means when i'm talking about gnp that is gross national product i'm talking about the domestically owned factors of production and when i'm talking about uh, GDP that means I'm talking about the boundary where the money value is generated so GNP is technically by whom the money value is being generated so from where that particular factor of production belongs to and in GDP where is this money generated the national boundary that we are talking about so let me give you a small example then it will be easy um, say example an Indian is working in America in American company so this is the scenario now when I'm talking about Indian that means the salary or the wage of Indian right so Indian means domestically owned by India so GNP of India, right? And money value in America. So the national boundaries of America, so GDP of America. So this is how we differentiate the GDP and GNP. So that means if I want to calculate GDP from GNP or GNP from GDP that means I have to make few uh, factor payments to and from abroad subtract it and add it to gain the result so that means GDP that is gross domestic product is equals to GNP now when I'm, when I'm calculating GDP so when I'm calculating GDP that means within the national boundary the money value can be generated by the domestic people as well as by those who are coming from abroad right so that means this will include not only the income generated by say indian in uh, uh, india but also the foreigners who are investing or coming and working in india right so that means i am going to subtract factor payments from abroad because in GNP, I have all the money value generated by those who are outside India, outside the national boundary. So when I'm calculating GDP, I cannot include that. So I have to subtract it, right? So from abroad means those who are working abroad, but is actually the national or domestically owned. I have to subtract that money from GNP. And again, GNP do not include the foreign abroad money. So that I have to add. So I will now add the factor payments to abroad right 
right so this is our gdp from gnp so similarly i can write down gnp from gdp that is gnp is equals to gdp so this will now become minus because i have to subtract the payments to abroad so gdp minus factor payments to abroad plus i have to add the factor payments from abroad that is the domestically owned uh, factors of production labor or let's say capital so factor payments from abroad so this is our formula of gnp now this gnp is calculated at this gdp this is calculated at market price this gnp is actually calculated at market price market price is means what this includes the indirect taxes and subsidy is not included so whenever we are going to try and find out the actual value of the product so we have to find out uh, the particular product at the factor cost to calculate the national income and that we will see how we are going to calculate one by one so this is our gnp at market price now whatever gross we have that is gross domestic product or gross national product if we subtract the depreciation cost we get our net products right so next is our ndp at market price okay that is is equals to gross domestic product minus depreciation cost right so this is our net domestic product similarly net national product that is nnp at market price is equals to gnp minus depreciation cost right so this is our net national product so all this is at market price right so from nnp that is our net national product we can calculate our national income that is if we consider the net national product at factor prices that is not at the market price that means we have to subtract the indirect taxes and add subsidy if we do that we can calculate nnp at factor price and that will be our national income so the next step is national income that is national income is equals to nnp at factor cost so this is net national product at factor cost so this is is equals to nnp at market price plus subsidy minus the indirect taxes so if we do this part we get the national income we can calculate national income okay from national income now we can calculate personal income so in the very beginning of this particular answer i have told you the difference between national income and personal income right so we have to subtract few terms and add few terms to the national income in order to calculate the personal income of an individual right so let's see what are these so the next one is personal income okay personal income personal income that is pi is equals to what is it personal income pi is equals to first of all i will write down the national income that i have got that i have calculated from here i am going to make few subtractions like which are going to be subtracted from this income or total income or okay national income first one is all the group uh, earning points right for example uh, corporate profits the undistributed corporate profits that is the profit of the organization and that we have to subtract from the national income of the individual because i'm going to consider the personal income of the individual that's why so national income minus undistributed corporate profits okay this is one minus again i'm going to uh, subtract all the 
interest payments for example you have home loan car loan and whatever different type of loans that you have that you have to pay so those are all the interest payments that we will subtract okay and social contributions if you make any social contributions so that is from your income national income so all these are subtracted now there are different ways in which you are receiving income which you are not earning so that is definitely the part of your personal income but not national income so let us add those factors what are the factors for example you got bonus from your company right so that is a sudden uh, money that you have received and actually not part of your income right so dividends bonus etc these can be part of your personal income but that you just received suddenly so let's write down plus dividends plus what else like you are paying interest rates you are also gaining interest rates say from different uh, types of uh, capital bonds shares or property that you have so you can earn interest rates so net interest rate earnings and finally let's write down the transfer payments transfer payments like pension etc from where you are the, the money that you receive from the government so if we add and subtract these factors from national income i can calculate the personal income of an individual now the last one is our disposable personal income that is dpi disposable means that is the leftover after what after paying the taxes to the government so disposable income is equals to the personal income that is left after paying direct taxes to the government so what are direct taxes example income tax so these type of taxes after that you have paid it to the government whatever the remaining you have that is your disposable income so disposable income is personal income minus direct taxes now with the leftover income what are you going to do you will either consume or save so dpi is equals to pi minus direct taxes or dpi is equals to c plus s so both these formulas are correct for disposable personal income so here we have discussed what gnp is what national income is what dpi that is disposable personal income is and we have also seen the formulas of h and every measures now the last part of the question is green gdp what is green gdp okay green gdp green gdp and how can you calculate it so basically green gdp is when we subtract all the different types of environmental degradation or cost faced by the environment as well as add different type of um, expenditure made on the government that is our green gdp so green gdp is equals to gdp minus carbon dioxide emission plus let's say other articulate emission different type of emission that pollutes basically that is subtracted okay minus opportunity cost of resource depletion resource depletion resource depletion means what resource depletion means it can be any natural resources it can be forests it can be mineral etc so the resource that is being depleted and is getting extinct so that is the opportunity cost of using those right so these will be subtracted and addition is expenditure made on restoring environment any kind of expenditure that is made to save the environment that is included in the gdp and every other type of cost that damages the environment is subtracted so the net result is the green gdp okay so this is our green gdp